it seems awfully quiet on the mountainside today. Uh, you are now up. It looks like you're up a little higher than before. You can see down the mountain to the entrance to the tunnel that had that imperial architecture. And it looks like you're on just a little sliver, more or less, of uh, solid flat land with steep cliffs all around you going up on the north side, going down on the south side. And another cave entrance uh, just a little bit ahead of you. I roll a bluff check. Oh, get it? Uh, <laughs> Five experience for making me laugh. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I got an 18, too. Oh, plus three, so I got a 21. I don't know what that Same is. Same idea. <laughs> All right. So, you, presumably you want to go into the next cave? Yes. Yes, of course Ken you do. Kensu you wants, Kensu wants and... to lead us into the next cave. Yes, okay, Kensu, who is still dressed like a soldier, is <laughs> leading the way into the next cave. Hey, you never know. You never know. So you come into the next cave, and you hit a wall shortly in front of you. Again, same general dimensions as uh, the cave was before, still that dull blue glow. And the path branches off to the east, which you follow. Or I'm sorry, it doesn't branch, it just turns to the east, and then turns again to the north. And as you're walking ahead, you can see a split in the path that goes east and goes north. It looks like both directions, just at the edge of your vision, there's an ice wall blocking the path. However, closer than that, um, your continuous spot check allows you to notice a handful, um, two seems to be the magical number tonight, two uh, 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 red bats that are hanging upside down on the cave above you and then detach themselves and start swarming around as best as two creatures can swarm um, as they head on their way down diving towards you. Roll for an initiative! Oh, these guys are so annoying. That 20. Nice. Pity you wasted it here, but it's nice. Who else got what? I got an actual 20, not a nat 20. An actual 20. Very nice. I got 20. Okay. I got 11. After that, okay. And I got a 13. Oh, switch it up a little. Kensu, you go first. You got two bats that are a little bit out of reach flying down towards you. Uh, how far away are they? They are... Uh, actually, they're only about ten feet in the air above you. All right, uh, I'm going to charge up my sword. Do that range attack. Uh, can I hit only one of them, or can I configure it to They're spread out just enough that you can only hit one of them. All right. I'll hit the one, let's say, on the left. Uh, can I crit with a, with a range attack? Uh, yes, you can. All right. We'll crit. With this particular energy sword, yes, you can. And another one. I keep rolling 19s, and then I roll <laughs> one. All right, still so that hits, um, at least I assume, uh, 29 hits. Uh, yes, these are not fantastic bats, only merely average bats. Yes. Yeah, I say otherwise, like, well, we're dead. Uh, 10 damage. Complete overkill. Describe the bat's horrific death. Uh, as my, uh, as the waves from my sword, uh, hit the back, uh, you start to see the, uh, if, if you were to see it in slow motion, the eyes would boil in its, in its small and burst, uh, as, you know, the rest of its body erupts into, uh, flames and yada, yada, yada. Remind me to never use the word horrific when asking <laughs> you to describe something. All right, um, the bat erupts into an explosion of blah and does not leave any coin behind. Whoa, terrible. And Asina, go ahead. All right. Um, I'm not close enough for melee, right? Correct. All right, so I'll charge one and then attack. Okay. Uh, 17. 17 is a hit. Nine damage. Nine damage. Gross overkill. Describe the way it goes down. It goes, and smacks into a wall. <laughs> Very nice. Hooray! They are dead. Everyone gains two experience. Yes. Yay. But you <laughs> earned it. <laughs> All right. So you're at a split path. You can go north and take down an ice wall, or you can go east and take down an ice wall. Wait, can't we, uh... Wouldn't his second level thing reach both of them, technically? Like, he could do it um, once and then if again? If they were angled properly. Oh, but he could just do it twice. 
We can stand here and wait. <laughs> um, I'm I'm sorry. You said oh, Tornell's second level attack. Yeah. Would it would uh, it reach? I mean, mine would. I think. Well, oh, standing from here, yeah, just barely. Nope. <laughs> not that we I'll, could I'll see. I'll allow it. I mean, not that we could probably see anything beyond that anyway, but. Well, no, I mean, you can see 60 feet here, and I'm allowing the shot to go 60 feet before you start taking penalties on hitting whatever it is. So, yeah, that's fine. You can charge up, stand from here, blow open both of the walls. Oh, boy. <laughs> but but we, we can't really see behind the ice wall, as in, like, after that, it's out of our sight range. Yeah, unless something comes pouring through it. Is that a hint as to what's going to happen next? No, I'm just saying that you there you won't be able to see anything new except there's a hole. Oh. So you would need to get closer. So, Tornell, are you... Oh, we should probably get a little closer then. Well, or do you want me to just blow it? Yeah, just hit both of them, right. and then, then we can decide which way we want to go. That's what I'll do then. I will just blow both of these up with my flaming sword of fire. Okay, you blow both of them up, and then you start hearing shouting from the north one, and you spot Imperials charging through the wall, and uh, their guards, just like before... They're saying, hey, who's blowing up our wall? What's going on here? And they start charging at you. And from the east, in the darkness, you hear... Tornell, that was a terrible idea. Why did you do that? <laughs> I'm a dummy. <laughs> so everybody kindly roll for initiative once more. Um, I got natural one. <laughs> Six, oh! 16. These guys are dangerous. Uh, Kensu... I... Your, uh, your critical failure here is going to make you so unprepared that you miss the first round of combat altogether. Ooh. All right, so who had what? We had Asina with a 10. I had a 16. I, I had a 16, too. I had a 7. Oh, oh you had a 7? Yeah. Well, that's sad. I'm, I'm so sad for you. <laughs> Maybe I had a 10. <laughs> okay, Tornell had a 16. Which of the two of you has a higher dex? Uh, 18. 12. Okay. Oh, I'm so, first. Hang on a second... Ba, ba, ba. A lot of things to kill you to roll for. All right. So hang on just a second. Why do I have to be uh, so brilliant? <laughs> hey, think of it this way. You only need to roll for initiative once. <laughs> okay. So uh, one of the guards comes piling out first and charges at you. And because, let's see, Kensu is at... Beginning of the party. Man, all sorts of things I need to coordinate. Look what you guys make. All right. Oh, perfect. I like. I just had a brilliant idea that would take too long to explain because you can't see anything that I'm drawing here. Okay. So, <laughs> so one of the guards comes marching out and stabbeth at Kensu with his long sword. And, ooh, that hits. And, ah, uh, yes, that definitely hits. Kensu, you get stabbed in the gut. For, uh, it's not much, but it is four damage. Okay. All right, then Zebu, Zebu, Zab, Shabu, Shabu, you can go. Hey. hey. Oh, I got a uh, natural twenty. Does that mean that I critical? Uh, I mean, that is possible. a possible critical. Roll again as though you're rolling a normal attack roll, and if that would hit the monster, then yes, that's a critical. Hey. Uh, I got thirteen or twelve. Sorry. Uh, 12 is not a hit. On on the guard, I assume? Yeah. Well, he's so the closest hit, one. Not yeah. A critical. yeah, so you hit, but it's not a critical. Oh, hey. Uh, I get... I'm just doing a normal attack. Or I guess I could have charged... Is he within range? Um, he is... Yeah, he's definitely within range. He's only 20 feet ahead of you. Hey, uh, so I guess instead of walking up to him, I charge my attack and I do... Uh, Eight damage total. Okay. So, eight damage is a nice little number. Um, he's pretty hardy, though, so he takes it. Uh, Tornell, go ahead. I... Actually, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's a lie. I take all of that back. Hold that roll. Save it for later. Um, but the mm -hmm. guard comes up and charges at you, but then recognizes that Kensu is still dressed like a guard. Oh, yeah. And he has, he has these three wise men, these three wise guys behind him, and looks at Kensu and is about to skewer him, but holds up for a second and he says, What's going on here? Uh, love check. I'm going to tell him I uh, found these uh, these suspicious-looking people creeping around the outside of the mine. 
Uh, I'm bringing them in for questioning. What's your bluff check? Oh, I should roll that. Ooh, 14. 14? Yeah. He looks at you and says, Look, if you know Imperial procedure, you'd know that the prisoners stay in front of you, especially when they're not handcuffed like that. I don't know about you, soldier. He stabs you anyhow, and you take the damage, I told you. <laughs> hey, so then... I, so then, I still... uh, Zebu, you go ahead. You apply the damage that you did. Okay. Uh, Tornel, go ahead. I will uh, charge my sword. Okay. And then what? And... Hmm, I will let loose my uh, my sword of fire upon him. Okay. So you go ahead and do that. And he gets pushed backward a little bit, but you hear this clang, 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 clang as your entire row of fire just dissipates over him. Does not seem to have done anything. Sad My day. Sword sucks. <laughs> <laughs> um, you hear a groan from the tunnel to the east, and lumbering out of it, you see a gigantic rock monster that's easily two or three times larger than any of you are. Uh, just seems to have been carved out of the stone itself and just pulled itself out of the wall and started to march over. It has these eerie white eyes affixed to the top of its head. Uh, and it picks up its head, which looks like a giant stone, and throws it in your general direction, uh, specifically at Asina. Yeah. <laughs> and it uh, it hits, dealing... Oh, pathetic. It deals five damage to you. Okay. All right. And then the next guard goes. The next guard comes charging in and gets in on the west side of Kensu and sees that his cohort is attacking, so he doesn't question orders and swings his sword wildly and completely misses you. And then the next guard comes in and flanks, well, almost flanks you. He's not quite there, but slashes at Kensu again, also seeing that both of his comrades are swinging his sword wildly, so he says, okay, I guess this is all right. Uh, swings and actually hits, dealing damage, dealing seven damage to Kensu. It is Asina's turn. All right. How many guards are left? There are three guards. They're all standing in a neat row in front of Kensu, and there's this uh, rock monster that's over to the east. All right. If I charge my sword up one to level one, it says uh, the type's a line. So how many is that going to hit? So if you happen to be in such a position... um, if you were to take a five-foot step, which you can do independent of any of your move actions, if you want to take a five-foot step to the left or the right, uh, you'll be able to hit two of the guards together as your line is carving diagonally through them. Okay, I'll do that. So you want to step to the left, step to the right? Um, right. To the right towards the stone monster, to the left towards the wall? <laughs> to the right. Uh, yeah. All right, so you, you slash the left guard and the middle guard, um, or at least you attempt to. Go for it. 21. 21. Very nice. Um, I will apply that to both, so roll damage for both. Uh, seven. Seven damage. Okay. Mm-hmm. Should I roll again, or are you just going to give that to both guys? Um, it is, uh, you should have announced that in advance. I guess I should have said that, so I'll apply that to both. That's a fine number. Right. So they both take seven damage. Uh, choose. All right. It is Kensu's turn to now turn around and say, oh, I'm being attacked. And uh, oh. then he misses his turn altogether. Back to the top with one of the guards. Let's see, he's in the center, so he continues to hack away at Kensu. And he says, Imposter! And hits you pretty squarely uh, as the DM throws his die out who knows where, uh, dealing just three damage. It's a nice solid blow, but not in any particularly sensitive area. So you hear that? You're insensitive, Kensu. So it hit him in the Zebu. head. <laughs> Zebu, go. Uh, okay, I'm going to step to the left so that I can hit two of them. Uh, I charge... Wait, oh, that's right, I can't because I just moved. Uh, no, you take a five-foot step, which doesn't count towards your movement. Okay, then yes, I'm going to charge, uh, but I only got a ten for my attack roll, so... Uh, you do not hit nothing. Okay. Yeah. All right, uh, Tornell. Tornell, what knowledge checks do you have? I have geography and history. Um, anybody I'm else good if I'm playing check? Carmen San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> um, so somebody with a knowledge arcana check. Oh, I do. Or a knowledge dungeoneering check. Please roll your knowledge now. Black dungeoneering. 
Uh, I have Arcana, and I rolled a uh, 21 total. Okay. Kensu, what'd you get? Uh, lots. Oops. Uh, <laughs> sorry, my shoot's on my, my tablet here. Uh, 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 29. 29, all right. So the two of you, at the same time, think about this stone monster that's coming in here, and something clicks with you from some of your studies, some of your previous experience, and you suddenly feel the urge to convey some knowledge to Tornell that um, certain kinds of rock monsters, especially ones that look like they've been made of the icy cavern wall here, could potentially be susceptible to fire. Hey, Tornell, you can actually be useful for one. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll charge my sword then. All right. And then I will use said sword on Rocky McRocks a lot. <laughs> All right. Let me roll that. 22. 22 is a hit. Roll off our damage. And I've got 12. Nice. 13. Okay. Oh, nicer yet. It is a big, beefy rock monster. Doesn't seem to affect it much, but you still make something of a dent. And it doesn't dissipate on you. Hooray. Uh, the rock monster, however, takes a step backwards into and angles itself, so it's popping out of the corner um, around where the ice wall was melted. So there's a little nub of wall that's sticking out uh, that he's now hiding behind that was previously obscured uh, and is now making him a little more difficult to hit with a ranged weapon. So he's got some cover. So... He now throws his uh, Asina is closest, so he was headless for a second, and now another stone head magically grows in its place, which he promptly plucks off his head and launches at you again. No! So, <laughs> so Asina, that hits. No! Yeah, not you. Uh, and does six damage this time. Mm -hmm. And it is a guard's turn to go. Uh, the guard to Kensu's left, takes a five-foot step, and is starting to get into a flanking position for the other guard, and rolls to attack you, and that is a nice number, and that is a pathetic number. You take three damage. <clears throat> However, the other guard steps in and actually gets flanking position now, increasing his chances of hitting you, which he does for, oh yeah, ten damage. So, Everybody's sort of looking at this rock monster that's, like, now creeping in the corner and just throwing its head at you. And these three guards that are just swarming around Kensu in a stabbing party. Oh, and... stabbing parties are my least favorite type of party. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's the scene turn to go. All right. How many guards are still standing? Same, same number? Three guards. Okay. Then I do the same thing as before with my sword so that I try to hit two of them. Okay, uh, and you take a five-foot step backwards. You are now on the same line as Tornell. Okay. Not that that means anything. I'm keeping track of where you are. All right, that's a 12. That probably doesn't hit. Uh, that does not hit, unfortunately. Okay. So, whoosh, goes swinging by him. And Kensu finally gets a chance to go. Hooray! Uh, I guess I'll swing at the guy closest to me. Full attack. Incidentally, Kensu, um, just because I'm seeing the, the battlefield here. If you take a five-foot step backwards into the space that Asina cleared out from, you can charge your sword and hit all three of them with a level one shot. Why do we do that? <laughs> Why the hell not? I mean, if you want to just attack them regularly, that's cool, too. All right, let's do this. All right, so it's five-foot step, charge, attack, 15. 15 is actually a hit. Oh, yay! They're not terribly well outfitted. Yeah, well, that, that's something. Uh, just should I roll damage for up. each one separately, or damage for... I guess... Yeah, just do it all together. Oh, sweet! 12 damage. 12 damage to each of them. Raw. Yeah! Very nice. Fuck you guys! In your stabbing party. <laughs> Every RSVP for the stabbing party. I didn't want to go to the stabbing party. <laughs> Y'all try to bring the stabbing party to me. I'm saying no! No to the stabbing party. The, uh, like one guard, the, the one guard switches from stabbing to lunging, and lunging doesn't seem to be his area of expertise. He whiffs. And it's back to Zebu. Oh, uh, okay. And Tornell and Asina get ready with what you want to do. I, uh, I want to use paralysis, actually, on uh, the guard that is farthest away. Excellent. Um, 
Hoidaway. That would be the third guard, which is closest to Asina on the right side of Kensu. So go ahead, and you fire off this wave, this ripple of paralysis, and he rolls a will save. Oh! Critical failure on the will save. Yikes. Do I still have to roll? No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's rolling against your DC. Yeah. And completely fails. He is paralyzed like nobody's business. Yes. And because he rolled a critical failure, not only is he paralyzed, but he's got the dopiest look on his face that's going to be stuck there until he dies. <laughs> nice. So that was your standard action. Do you want to move? Do you want to charge up your sword so that you can have it powered next round? Oh, yeah, I want to charge up. Zoop. Okay, you are now at level one charge, ready for next round. Tornell. Uh, I just want to double charge. Okay, you, you charge stand the there and double charge. You are now up to level two, ready for next round. Um, Rock Monster goes to launch his head once again at Asina. Another one grows back, and he just chucks it and aims a little bit too low, and it just lands at her feet. The head goes spinning around in a circle, and the eyes look up at her for a second before it crumbles into the ground. The guard on Kensu's left side takes a five-foot step and hacks at him again. How you doing on health, by the way, Kensu? I'm okay. I have, like, 152 hit points. Yeah, isn't that ridiculous? But uh, if there's no in between here and forever, <laughs> and boss battles, possibly. Yeah, no, I've lost, what, three, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, anyhow, the uh, the guard attacks you, and, oh, my goodness, it is finally at last. Oh, glory be, oh, happy day. A critical hit. Ugh. Stabs you in the back of the neck. Oh, the pain. Ow. And the DM can do math. Which amounts to 13 damage. Yikes. And yeah, then I'm going to break your game. <laughs> what? That, that, that I'm going to break this game. I'm going to do something so stupid, it will break crystals. I hope you do. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> so the next guard steps in and is now in flanking position. You have three guards again with their lunging party. Uh, we've switched from stabbing to lunging. And he attacks and hits for four damage. And that's that for that guard. Asina. All right. Um, I'm going to spend my full round action charging. Okay. Zoop, zoop. So you're now up to level two as well, if I'm not mistaken. And Kensu. Yeah. You busy breaking my game? No, no. Um, so let me see. Uh, can I do a five foot step back and try and do the same thing I did last turn? or? Um. Yeah, technically you can. You can. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry. You can't anymore because Tornell is right behind you. You start to back up and bump right into him. God as he's damn it, Tornell! <laughs> All right, uh, I guess a full attack against. Uh, can I tell if anyone's looking particularly rough? The actually all of them have been roughed up a little bit, but the guard on your left seems to be a little bit less hardy than the other guys. Yes, yeah, do a full attack against him. Okay. I am not a fan of the stabbing card. Uh, let's see, 13 and 15. So I guess the 15 hits. 15 hits. 5 damage. 5 damage. Nice. He's starting to, to be a little shaky on his feet. He's still holding together, but um, doesn't like where this is going. And it's back to him to reciprocate some of the pain. Ah. Uh, aha. That would have been helpful to look at. I love how sometimes I read the monster stat blocks and say, oh, that would have been helpful before. <laughs> and so he rolls to hit. Uh, he hits you. Uh, you take the wrong die damage. And, oh, ten damage from his sword. Slices you on the cheek a little bit, too. And Zebu, back to you. And Tornell, get ready to roll your stuff if you don't want to roll it in advance. Uh, so Zebu, okay. we're now up to level two charge. Is that correct? Yeah, I... Uh... Yeah, I charge, and then I also want to then shoot at some guys. So I am at level 2 charge, and I'm going to shoot at bad guys. Okay, so here, just looking at the map that I have in front of me here, you can either um, move 15 feet to the right, and then, because if you go to the left, you're up against the wall and can't really hit two guys. But if you want to hit two guys, you can take, you can move 15 feet to the right, launch a line of energy through the two bad guys, um... And if you want to avoid uh, hitting Asina, who... I'm sorry, if you want to avoid hitting Kensu, who is currently in melee combat, you can take a minus four penalty. Otherwise, if you miss by too much, you can just risk hitting him anyhow, and that's cool. Uh, Or you can charge up one more 
and let loose a level 3 tornado that's just a wall of tornado that will hit all three of those enemies, and possibly can sue if you don't choose to take the minus 4 penalty on the attack. Well, uh, the, the last round I could have only charged one because I did the uh, paralysis, right? Oh, you did. I'm sorry. I thought you charged two. No. It was Asina and uh, Tornell who did that. Never mind. Yeah. I am a big fat liar. So, yes, you can charge up once to have your level shot and then move and fire. Is that what you'd like to do? Is that possible or would I be wasting my move if I charged again? Uh, no, you'd not be wasting your move because then at the beginning of the next turn you could let loose with um, the tornado and then do something else. You could move or charge up again or oh. whatever. Hey, uh... However you'd like to do it. Sorry if I'm confusing. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think that I will move into position and charge. So. Yes, okay, so you move into position, and you charge up to level 2. All right, so you're ready next round to unleash on them. Okay, moving on. Tornell, what do you got for me? I will charge one more to level 3. Okay. And I will let loose on that rocky guy. Okay, you let loose a level 3 blast on the rocky guy. Roll to hit. 26. 26 is definitely a hit. A huge fireball erupts, consuming the entire section of hallway where he's standing. And roll for damage, if you please. 29. 29! All right. Uh, So that's a pretty hefty hit. You can see parts of them are starting to melt off. And it's his turn to bring the hurt on you. He grows another head, chucks it at... Actually, Zebu is a little closer this time, so going towards you. And uh, let's see, does that hit? Uh, no, just barely misses you. <laughs> um, the head smashes against the wall and bursts into pieces, and you have eyeball rubble flying past you. It's kind of disturbing. And the uh, the guards have actually kind of grown a little bit tired of stabbing Kensu, but they're going to do it anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that one hits, and that is a horrendous three damage to Kensu. And the other one attacks, and that is a hit. And that's four damage to Kensu, just chipping away at you. Oh, my God. <laughs> what What are your hit points looking like now? I mean, it's, I'm like in the 115 range. Or something. How is that even possible? I'm just going to attack you all with lightning. You gave me 152 hit points at level 6, Nathaniel. Yeah, 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 but uh, actually, in the game, that's how many hit points you had, and this is about how much damage the guards would be doing. You would just be fighting a lot more enemies to wear you down. So uh, I I will attempt to recalibrate that, and uh, maybe they'll suddenly find magical powers that they'll start attacking you with. Asina. So I have my level 2 blast card hardened up. Who's left right now? So you've got three guards that are swarming Kensu, and you've got a rock monster that's being beaten up pretty badly by Tornell. Who's the only person right. you can really afford. Yeah, I'll leave the rock monster to, to turn out and concentrate on the guards. So I'm going to attack with my wide line and level two Okay. Plus. So actually, from where you are standing, mm-hmm. you can actually hit all three of them um, with your wide line, because it, it is basically a big triangle of water slashing that goes out at them. Um, however... You can do that, but you risk hitting Kensu. So you can either take a minus four penalty to your attack to make sure that you gracefully swish it around him, or you can just say, you know what, I won't take the penalty, and if I lose by four or more, if I miss by four or more, then he'll get hit with them. Uh, I'll take the penalty. Okay. Isn't that true love? Yes. Yes, it is. So... Not 16, so with the penalty, it's 12. It's 22. 22 is a hit. Roll right. for damage. And that's 2d8. For that. Six. Plus four is 16 damage. I am a big fat liar. Uh, one of the guys was paralyzed. Zebu, you got to keep me honest here. Oh, um, Kensu, you suddenly recover 10 hit points Dip. because you were not stabbed by this guy. <sighs> I didn't know which one was which. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, hooray. All right, so, so Asina, yeah, how much damage? 16 damage to distribute amongst. Okay. Not looking so good for anybody. The guard in the middle is just about drowned in the water slash. He looks atrocious. And the other two guards on either side of him uh, are definitely looking weakened, but uh, can still hold on for just a little bit longer. 
And it is Kenzu's turn to go. All right. Uh, any possibility of backing up? Uh, Tornell is still there. All right, full attack against the Coast Guy. Or rather, the guy that's looking the worst. Looking the worst is right in front of you. Full attack. Uh, 15. And He's dead. a natural one. Well, you only needed to roll the first attack because he went down after that one. So you don't roll your critical failure. All right. And uh, you may describe how you slay him. Oh, let's see. I stab him, then stab him some more, then stabby, 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 and yell, how do you like it, you son of a, I don't know, what the crystalless equivalent of a bitch is. You, red turtle pod. <laughs> you red turtle pod. Hair uh, of rock monster testes, you <laughs> dragonian... His molecular structure breaks up before you can insult him any further. Uh, and he drops a coin. Hooray, he's dead. Um, now it is up to uh, the dead guard to do nothing. Zebu. Uh, okay, I'm going to charge up to level three and then un yeah. unleash a tornado attack all willy-nilly. Okay, uh, do you choose to take a minus four penalty to mentally steer your tornadoes around Kensu so that you don't hit him? Or do you want to just launch and see if he can duck? No, I said all willy-nilly, so, you know. Willy-nilly! All right, so roll a hit. Uh, I only got a 13. Uh, 13, unfortunately, does not hit the one guy. Okay. Uh, it's not bad enough to hit Kensu, but the other guy's paralyzed and can't dodge, so he gets hit. Roll for damage with your tornado, and make sure you uh, subtract eight magic points for that as well. Oh, okay. Uh, I did 19 damage. 19 damage. And uh, you have severely impaired his ability to live through this battle. Um, he will be going down shortly. All right, so it's Tornell's turn. I will... I'm just going to double charge. Okay, zoop, zoop. And Rock Monster throws its head again at Zebu. And that is not terribly impressive and does not hit him, sadly. And the two remaining guards, the one that's here, looks around at the situation says, ah, the Empire's not paying me enough for this, and makes a full retreat back the way that he came, leaving his paralyzed friend to stand there helpless. And you can almost see a flicker of sadness and a tear rolling down his frozen partner's eye. <laughs> and uh, it's Asina's turn. Uh, my turn. Um... Your retreating guard is still technically within range if you want to launch a shot at him. Otherwise, you've got the paralyzed guard and the rock monster here. Yeah, I'll take a shot at the retreating guard. Okay. So that's just Thanks. the level zero one, right? Uh, level zero is just a regular melee stab attack. You would need to oh, charge okay. up, use a move action to charge up to hit him long range. I see. Okay, so charge up and then 18. 18 is a hit. Roll for damage. Five. Five damage. You hit him. Mm. He says, hey, look, I'm giving up already. You win. He continues to try and run away. Um... And Kensu. All right. Um, how far away is he now? Uh, he's still 60 feet away, just within range. Yeah, let's uh, charge up an attack. Oh, possible crit. It's going to be a one. It's going to be a one. <laughs> hey, another 20. Jeez, okay. So that, that's a hell of a crit. So, uh, <laughs> did you roll two 20s in a row? I did. Okay, that uh, is a triple crit as far as I'm concerned. So instead of multiplying by two, multiply by three. All right. Um, uh, so for 33 damage. Horrendous overkill. <laughs> Why didn't you do that earlier? It's like scanners <laughs> down there. Like his, his head just starts shaking and suddenly it's all like all over the walls of the cave. <laughs> And that is disgusting, but he's dead. <laughs> so, uh, Zebu, it's back to you. Wait, is it? Wait, what, what about Tornell? Or uh, oh, you go oh. first before Tornell. Oh, okay. Wait. Uh, I can I attack the rock monster? Uh, that you can. Okay. Uh, I'm going to charge, and then I'm going to hit the rock monster. Uh, I only rolled a twelve for my attack. Oh, twelve does not hit. Mm. You. You swing wildly off. However, you get close enough to at least glance him on the shoulder, and uh, Tornell, it's your chance to laugh at Zebu. 
because the wind energy just dissipates on his shoulder. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's satisfying. Tornell, go. I will stay where I am at level two, and I will let loose on that rock monster. Boom. Okay. Roll to hit. That's a 30. 30. I've not been rolling for concealment this whole time, but uh, you successfully managed to bust through the concealment and hit him anyhow. Uh, yeah, roll for damage. That is 17. 17. Oh, brought within an inch of his life. And uh, this time, he grows back his head and starts charging at you as he rips it off and launches it directly at your head, <laughs> Tornell. And uh, that is a hit. Dealing a measly seven damage to you. But now it's out in the open. And go ahead, Asina. You've got the paralyzed, dopey-looking guard next to you, and you've got the rock monster charging in on you. Oh, great. Rock monster. Rock monster! <laughs> um, I guess charge up and fire at the rock monster. Okay. Because he's charging at me, and that sucks. Uh, 16. 16. Sixteen is not a hit. Mm. Okay. All right. Um, Kensu. Kensu, take this thing down. Uh, it's not right near me, right? No. It so is we'll, yeah, we'll do a 25 range feet away. Charging. Uh, 25 hits. That is a hit. Uh, seven damage. Another kill under your belt. Go ahead and... Enjoy that victory. Um, the, uh, the the particular way that I shot the uh, uh, shot the, the the rock beast um, makes all of its entire body crystallize into coins, and I get five hundred bucks. <laughs> if only, uh, not quite five hundred, but everybody all across the board gets. Oh, let's see. Uh, what do we got here? Eighty-five experience points each. And a collective 32 gold. Wait, isn't the, uh... I'm sorry. Wait, that's a lie. Uh, 24 gold. Paralyzed guy still there? Uh, he is, but he doesn't count. Do you want to just stab him? Okay. So you said how much gold? 24? Uh, with him, it's 32 gold. Okay. And you actually get an even 100 experience now that you've killed the paralyzed guy that the DM completely forgot about and left for dead. <laughs> Do, do I have yeah. to roll for this, or...? Uh, no, you don't. You just stab him. Hey, good, because I actually rolled, like, ridiculously poorly. That's okay. He couldn't dodge it. <laughs> <laughs> so you have this ugly mess of a cavern with exploded everything everywhere. Yes. And two pathways to go down. Okay. So, wait, how... We, uh, does anyone have, like, a survive... It's still survival. Survival, yep. maybe see if they can detect any wind coming out of any of them. <laughs> you know what, Zebu? <laughs> do I? Do I win? Uh, somebody here has a survival check, and somebody here has a knowledge oh. engineering check. That's, I have uh, knowledge engineering. I can do that. Uh, uh, I, uh, twenty-seven on knowledge engineering. I just failed at my survival. Oh wait, I guess I I do have a somewhat decent survival. I have eight, so twenty-one survival, twenty-seven knowledge engineering. You get the feeling that both of these tunnels are probably going to lead outward. Um, one of them is probably going to take a little more time than the other and wind around a bit more, but both of these will probably get you out of here. Do I know, can I tell which one's going to take a long, little bit longer? Um, you're guessing that going to the east, where the rock monster was, is probably going to swing you around a little bit more. All right, we'll take, uh, I'll, I'll share that information with the party and say we probably... Think about taking the yellow one. All right. So, do you march off to the north? Show sure no. Okay All right. So you march off to the north. March, march, march. There is a long staircase that goes upward, and you march up that and through a, another set of smaller stairs up the end that leads you to a passageway that uh, you're now at a wall. Goes to the west, curves down south curves down west again, curves down south, and goes over top of a bridge that uh, looks familiar. Down there you see an empty box where there used to be an antidote inside of it. And you keep on marching south, and then the path curves, curves east again, and then down to the south. 
at the entrance, you find nothing. Um, all right, so you are now outside on the mountain again. And this is a big, long stretch uh, that goes to the west. And uh, you see a little branch, a, uh, another one of those long hills coated in ice that uh, goes up the hill. It looks like it's, it's short enough that you could potentially jump or climb up it if you were fast enough. Um, or you could continue going west, and that curves around up the hill and probably into another cave. So take your pick. Uh, can I roll, roll for jump? Yeah, and you have your uh, rabbit boots on. I don't know if I added that into your jump check or not. Uh, hold on. Should be a plus 10 in your miscellaneous okay, modifier. that's why I have plus 11 to my jump. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say. Uh, so I will roll. Uh, I got a 19. Nice. Uh, 19 is just barely enough to get you almost to the top, like you can almost reach the top, but then you slide back down. Oh. You could probably do it if you tried a little harder. Should I try again? Nothing stopping you. Uh, I got a 24. 24. You just make it over to the other side. So now you're at the top of the slope, yeah. and you look down and you wave at everybody. Hi. Uh, I look around. Is there anything cool up here? Uh, it looks like to the east there's a bridge, a wooden bridge, that spans over top of the other icy slope, the big one that you saw at the base of the hill. And uh looks like just on the other side of that bridge there's uh roll a spot check. Twelve. You can it you look see some like purple blobs that are roaming around on the other side of the bridge there. You can't quite make out what they are. Mm. Uh can anyone else make it up here? With a spot check? No, I mean, like, uh, to, to get up here. Physically, can you get up there? Unlikely. Unlikely. No. <laughs> uh, All right. You're on check. If no one else can easily make it up here, I think I'm going to wee and slide down the uh, ice. All right. Uh, roll a balance check on your way back down. All right, balance. Uh, I got 19. 19. You successfully balance and don't land on your rump going back down. So you're back down with the party. Wee. Hooray! So, we... westward, I take it? Yeah. All right, so you march west, and the path curves up around on the mountain, and it looks like it's just starting to snow again, and it's still uh, nice broad daylight. It's a little bit warmer out here than it was in the cave, so that's refreshing. And, uh, yay! And you pop into the cave, and you hit a wall that goes east, splits off to a T-junction to the north and to the east. At the end of the junction to the north you can see a staircase that goes upwards and to the east you can see an ice wall blocking your path ice walls usually conceal treasure so i'm gonna say not necessarily um <laughs> hey. going off of the going That's off of the dungeoneering check going off of the dungeoneering check that was before if you go to the right which is where the ice wall is there will not be treasure if you go to the left there will be treasure using your logic as before <laughs> it's true uh and also given Two out of three ice walls have concealed a uh, horrible battle. So, <laughs> team? As you're standing there deliberating for a second, you hear heavy footsteps clomping in behind you. Uh -oh. And suddenly, through the door, busts a young man, very pale, shaven head, carries a spear with him, and just simple, like, farmer's, peasant's kind of clothing, and stops and pants for a second, and you recognize him. Tornell, you especially, you recognize him first. It is Stom, one of your pupils, who you have been teaching in the ways of war. He comes and he says, There you are. I have been looking for you all over. He takes a second to catch his breath. He takes out from his pocket, and he hands over to you a medical herb. And he says, I've been trying to get this to you since Bryn Mawr. I thought it might be useful for your travels. Yeah, dude, it totally will be. <laughs> <laughs> he says, granted, on the way up here, I fought several Imperial Guards, and I fought a stone monster and some purple blob things, and used up most of the medical herbs that I was going to give over to you, but at least I gave one, and that's what matters. I'm also poisoned. Um, anyone happen to have an antidote on them, or possibly some magic that you can help me with? I'm really not feeling so well. Or I could just stand here and die. I mean, it's completely your call. Uh, is it Asina who has the, uh... I have a cover. Will that help? That would be lovely. I've missed your healing touch. Oh, okay. 
Um, I stacked the cover. So that's twice the normal amount because you're using it on someone other than yourself. So that should be, if I recall, 42 magic points? Uh, 48. Yeah, however many. So he instantly feels the poison get purged from his body. He says, thank you. I appreciate that. I will leave you to go on your journey. I'll see if there's anything else I can do to uh, bring you intelligence or uh, other items that might help later on. So... um, Keep on. We we know that uh, you're going to find this tower, and you're going to stop it before it does anything destructive and bad. So he nods at you, and he's kind of looking at you all funny, because uh, Kensu is still dressed like a guard. He assumes that it's you, but he doesn't know for sure. And then uh, takes a hint that nobody really cares about talking to him, and leaves. Bye. Bring more next time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you're at a crossroads. or not a crossroads. You're at a T-junction. You can go north up the stairs, or you can go east and blast through the ice wall. I like to blast things. It's a blast. Um, knowledge geography check, Tornell. Okay. That is a 24. Okay, 24. Uh, just from the terrain and the direction of the tunnels and what you've seen of the mountains so far and what Zebu conveyed from going up to the top of that icy slope, you have a pretty good feeling that going east is going to get you to a tunnel that connects to the other side, on the other side of that wooden bridge up at the top there. Whereas going north is probably going to take you somewhere different. Mm, I say we go east. Blast through the wall? Uh, if that's what east was. (laughs) And that's what east is, blast through the ice wall. All right, so you charge up your sword and you melt down the ice wall and the tunnel continues and then turns north. Next time on the Game Cola D&D cast, Kinsu gets stabbed. Again. Be there!